Many ones will say you should do your charity you know, in private. I don't. So anyway, so because I've done that for a number of years, people have seen me on social media. So when they see me and my ex-wife having these challenges with my you know, custody relationship with my son and going to my son's graduation, they say, must be having a breakdown. He's mad, he's mad, he's mad. <laughs> so all of a sudden, I became a bad man. <laughs> I was fine when I was giving a billion dollars a year to these schools. But before that, uh, I, I was a bad man. I, was, I even got fired from the university that year. What? I think it was 29. Which, yeah, because I was, I, you know, when I, because I had retired, you know, I made a couple of dollars in my, in my life. You know, I'm a doctor. I'm a which, which university? Which university? The University of the West Indies. So you were, so, you were a lecturer there? Right. No, I got a, a job to, 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 to come and teach at the university because I was retired, you know, after you know, a long career, you know, I'm, I was 43 at the time. That was two years ago. And I took a job just to go teach because I... I didn't know what else to do with my life. So, I, you know, I've been a professor all my life, and then I've got some success in business. So I figured I should go teach and give back, you know, to the community. And I took a job at the University of the West Indies in biomedical engineering. That's my that's my background. I'm a, a PhD in biomedicine. And when I got a job, I told the university that they don't need to pay me. I'll give the money to the students, um, right. you know, for their things. As, so that was also also very big news. I mean, it came out in the papers and everything. Um, the professor is giving back his salary to the students um, because I don't really need that kind of money. So, you know, $33 million per year, you know, is not going to change my life, right? But it will change right. the life of, of many of those students because I, right. I don't know if you know, it's right. about 20% of students at UWE can't even afford to pay their tuition, right? Right. So they get their right. risk of getting kicked out every year. However, when the university saw the, the, the social media stuff and everybody saying I'm mad, they fired me after one day, I, I was hired August first. I got fired August second. You know, what? their statement was that because I, you know, I, I, I had a mental health diagnosis that they can't assess. They fired me, but you know, well, because you live, you have some knowledge of global things. In America, if I was in America where I live, and they fired me because they say I'm crazy, yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's all them. At a whole new fucking university, right? But in Jamaica, I don't know what the laws are in Jamaica, so I have a lawyer dealing with it right now. But anyway, the point was that diagnosis by social media is a real thing <laughs> because anything they see you do that seems out of what they expect to be the normal or the, is going to be um, assessed and analyzed in, in any kind of kind of way. And you know, with, with the with the project I'm doing in Trenchtown. I've talked to everybody, including the Prime Minister of Jamaica, because of my role, you know, as a businessman, and, and you know, I do some investments in Jamaica. I was able to talk to the Minister of Health, the Minister of Tourism, the Minister of this, da 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 da, all the ones that are relevant. Ministry of um, what you call it, thing, entertainment, because I realized, you know, the entertainment industry, nobody's doing any shows. Like literally, nobody's doing any shows. So if we could do one that's pandemic safe using all of my experience as a, as a biomedical engineering professor understanding public health policy, social distance of requiring people do COVID tests and vaccines and then you come in, um, you know, to the show. You could get 5,000 people in a venue, easy. I was right. here in, I was in London a week, few weeks, couple of weeks ago at Wembley Stadium, you know, it was home of football, right? Soccer. Right. 45,000 people were there. Arsenal versus Chelsea women's game. FA Cup final. So if they can do 45,000 people in the stadium with no social distancing, with no masks, why can't we do 5,000 people in an in a, in a open lot in Trenchtown called No Man's Land? Right, right, it right. It should right, be possible. Right, right. So anyways, so, but, but, but maybe them said bad, but I do it. So, so they don't, don't want to support it. <laughs> because, because I'm supposed is to be that, a bad. Is that, is that, well, brother, welcome. I'll, I'll let me say... Um, Thanks for being a part of my world. <laughs> <laughs> well, I probably have a diagnosis longer than you have, though. I mean, you, <clears throat> my diagnosis is 2013. I don't know how long they've said you, man. <laughs> no, no, no. My diagnosis is, is, is since about, since I leave church, since I leave church, the third, they, they diagnosed me as a madman. When did you leave the church? Mm, when was it? I think 2017, 20, I think 2017, yes, I, 2018, no, the virus. no, 2018, I went to the church 2017, 2018. Yeah, that was a good thing. But, but here's what I would say to you, because I know you're busy and you have other callers to talk to. Keep doing what you're doing, brother man, because some of the things I've heard you speak on 
I wish somebody in Jamaica would speak on it. And while your voice may not be um, as big as someone else, you will get somebody else to, to think about it and have to talk about it. Because, for example, sexual assault um, for, for women, murdering of children and, and women and, and old people in, in, in our inner city communities. These are things that have never happened in my 45 years until the last, um, that I, the last five, 10 years. It has Brother, never happened. It, it, it's been happening prior, but it got, it got worse. You understand what I'm saying? Because, because there was always lack of... And now we have social media. We're, we're in a digital era where more things are being reported on mm -hmm. via That's true. social media. So it has, it's our, Because I remember I launched um, Jamaica Men Against Rape in 2000, excuse me, 2005. Mm. You understand? And, and did the Chinese the, people the, come up recently and say she was raped? Or was it, or was it somebody else? Some, one of you, some musical... Person said she got raped um, after Richie Stevens' um, accusation. There's a young woman. I think no, she, she, she actually spoke up before Richie Stevens, but the person, the the, the, the young lady that came out from 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 um, Singapore, yeah, she she were she felt empowered to share her story again because it was the second time she was sharing her story, and nobody okay, didn't turn up yeah. butter blind. Nobody never butter eye the first time she shared her story. But she didn't call, call any name the first time. The second time she called um, someone's name. Yeah, she did. I didn't even know hear the uh, name. That's the point I'm making. Yeah, man. She called. She called an, an entertainer name. He came out and he, he actually put out something to say. Um, yeah, he, he didn't. So do it. He, yeah, he, he said it was some. You'd have to watch it. You'd have to watch it because honestly, okay. I don't even want to say something that right. is not factual. Got it. <laughs> so may I say? Because in the charity that I run, the one that I'm talking to you on now, Shashamani Sunrise, I closed it in 2019 after everybody said I was crazy and you know it was you know disrupting our, our work and, and our ability to work in the schools. I would say at least one in five of the women that volunteer with our foundation would share a story of sexual assault or sexual abuse at yep. the hands of family members or community yep. members. Brother, a wicked something I thought. I thought even one young girl, she, uh, she was raped by her, husband, her mother's man and the man and, and the mother would deny it. That means she, the mother's man raped her daughter and she would then deny that the daughter was telling the truth. Her own daughter. Brother, the other day I was talking on my live about how Jamaican people um, stand with child molesters and especially within the family, right? And rapists and, 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 and even fathers and uncles and cousins that are molesting children you know, in the household. <laughs> Forget Jamaica, up, and Jamaican people, Jamaican people stand with it, and I, I'm there talking on my, on my live and my, the person that is, um, that works with with with, with, with us, yeah. Mm. She's out there cleaning, and when I op when I came off the live, I opened the door. She said to me, "Mr. Vegas, I chew your talk, you know, because my mother, when me are seven, you know." Fear, man, start rape me, you know. And my mother put me out of the house. Say, say, say she na, she na make me mash up she and her man. Correct. And them carry me down town and put me na the, in put me na the, 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 the water. And some if you walk out na the sea. Yep. Somebody pick her up. She said. And that is somebody with some actually, uh, okay, actually so I came somebody. Okay. Somebody. <coughs> When I, because I was doing the Strange Stone Rocks thing, um, which is on Sunday, I said to people, I said, I, I said to, I arrived on the thirteenth. I'd gotten my, my my second shot of my 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 um my Madonna, um on June first. So I said, okay, good. Now I can travel again. June thirteenth, I arrived in Jamaica. Sorry, June eleventh, I arrived in Jamaica. It's a Friday. The headline on the newspaper was. Pastor, father, child with 13-year-old girl. 
I don't even remember this because yeah. it's way all the way in the summer. So many of them. Yeah. I, I I've been through so many of them. I, I have to tell which one. No, but but listen, I'm just to you. Listen to the headline in in the big newspaper. I think it was Observer or the Gleaner. Pastor, father, child with thirteen year old girl. What's wrong with that story? Not pastor rape. Not pastor rape. Rape, brother. Let your father the bumble clad child with no thirteen year old girl, brother. With all due respect. <laughs> With all the respect of all the disposition as, 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 a, as, a, as a pastor and whatever it means. You can't father no child with no 30 years. Let, let me give, let me give you one. Let me give, let me give you one better. One is in the Jamaica Gleaner. I think it's the Gleaner and the Star, one of them. And it says, it, 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 it says, um, um, man got 11 year old pregnant. Got 11 year old pregnant. If we reapparish it, there's no consent at 11, 13, 14, 15, at, what is it, 16 in Jamaica. There's no consent. So this rape is, it, it, even if hmm. it's rape, brother, the, the, the newspapers also have to be able to take accountability for how they present those stories. And the church, that church should have been burnt down. If I might, if I, if I had my community back in my days, they're not burned on that church there. The Moravian pastor, the Moravian pastor in St. Elizabeth that is in prison now, they gave him eight years, right? And this man is in his, when he went to prison, he was in his 70s, I think, 70s. That man has been, it is said that that man been molesting children, right? As long as he has been a pastor, and he's been a pastor for years. And the church members, them and everybody, know say him a molest children, but here who bail him, the principal from Hampton. There we go. Yeah? Because the principal they, is, they are friends with their high society. But, but look friends. at this now. Look at all the headlines them about the Moravian pastor. Every, even after he was found guilty, there is no form of reporting like, you know, calling the spade a spade and calling the man a predator. Like certain names for like, but of course, we see predators in Jamaica glorified by Christian people and religious people and the media and other artists and yes, I say, and mm -hmm. can run the biggest charity in Jamaica, yeah, as a pedophile, as a man with pray on little boys. Bridget, so you know what? You know, who, you know, what man the biggest charity in Jamaica right now? I mean, I will call him name because you know I get sued. But if if I was on my platform, I'd, I'd call him name. Call him National Integrity Action. That man there is a known homosexual that preys on boys who go to, um one of the gentlemen in my school who was a Kingston College old boy, like I am, was was um a, apparently a proposition by this man and, and I'm supposed to be some running integrity action um, thing in the Jamaica. I would I deal with. But, but fire for them something there, brother. They 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 they're they're championing by their legitimacy predators. Yep. Yep. And people who are grooming as well. Now, grooming is one thing. I mean, one can say, well, grooming is not really, um, a, you know, assault. But you're grooming young girls or boys. And now, it's both sides now, because you must say, there's a whole set of the intelligence here and the academic people in, in UWE that are homosexuals. I heard that that's one of the, one of the reasons why they fired me, because I, I, they feel <laughs> like I'm anti-homosexual. Now, I'm a wow. raster man, and my views are different. Than, 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 than around, around homosexuality. But I've not, I've not done anything to harm any homosexual in my life. <laughs> I mean, I spent most of my life in England and in, in America, right? I, I, right. I've spent, I left Jamaica when I was 17 years old and I'm 45. So is that like say I was one of Jamaicans who said, boy, I bought up Batman from where I zero. No. My views are anti homosexual because I'm a Rasta far right person. I preach His Majesty, I follow the teachings of Eilis Lassie, Marcus Garvey, Bob Marley. So right. that is the basis and the compass of my life. But it doesn't impact somebody else's life. And, and my choices and decisions doesn't necessarily have to impact their choices and decisions. But I know what I uh, you know, use as my moral compass. Now, right. judgment for them will come when they, when, when, they, when they meet their creator. I'm just saying, at least for me and my friends, I want a heterosexual relationship because that's how you create and, um, and continue life. Very simple. Very, very simple. Right. So, right. so those with a homosexual or anti-homosexual agenda. Right. 
My my stance on that. My stance on my stance. My stance on that is, people who are hiding behind this whole movement in to molest children, those are the type of people I target and and call out. You understand? Yeah, so why you come to the UK, by the way? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> the, the, the comments. So I I, I, I I call out them people because of course they are. Uh, for example. I used to live, when I used to live in Kensington, I used to have an apartment in Kensington. And a Before teacher... In, 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 in London? No, man, in Kingston. Okay. This Kingston teacher, man, you know, this teacher, man, a big man, you know, big white man, he's a white man, you know, big man, you know, he's teaching at one of the schools I'm in Jamaica. And brother, mm. I always see this man, I come home with little boy at even time. So I find it strange. So one day I say, you know what, I'm call the police then. Can't listen to look right. So I say, little boy, and this this one that I saw him with was a little young boy. Yeah, I'm say, boom, call the police them. By the police them come, him and the youth come out already and guard. Right, I mess to the police them say, yo, but them take like an hour for come bridging. You see? Another another. Mister Alico Street boy, I say, Vegas, can you can you open the door for me? Can you open? I say. Don't call me name near Bumba Clark Mouth. When look on, it's a little street youth. And I, he must say, and I, him the youth I got to see him. So I said, damn. You know, so the man really, I'm only a little boy for you. So those are the type of things where me actually call out. When I know, say, yo, there are people in our society who are actually living that lifestyle, but they're not just living that lifestyle and not hurting other people like hurting children. And we see it all the time in the news. The problem, and another problem is when little boys them get molested in Jamaica, them can't talk. Because we have a, a society where um, put a stigma upon them for the rest of their lives so and they're battling. Correct. Correct. So, and, and that is the reason why I'm so vigilant in even fighting for the youth, them, especially the little boys. Them, right? right? And little girls as well, but more so the little boys them, can't talk. You understand what I'm saying? And, 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 and then, then you'll find, because um, I work in the trench town, that you have these gentlemen who or I shouldn't even call them gentlemen, these high society men who will show the ghettos in their big cars, pick up young yeah, boys man. or girls, yeah, and take them on their boats to Maiden Key or blah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yes, sir. Um, and, and you know the deal. You know what happens the next. So, and, then, then, and then some of these little boys, when they take them up and them, they, they look at you, they want white car glass and all of them things, you know. You have man target them, you know. And the problem is when them target them, them let them back, them let them back into the society, brother. Mm. And a lot of them look at you that turn around and molest other children. Because they're mentally the scarred by all of this, right? And the so cycle continues. They become, and... they become um, you know, involved in lives of criminality. Right. Um, and, and people right like me they... and you know, and other people will decide, say, we are going to take a stance and we are going to say, yo. From we find out about one or two predator, we are going to put the hammer down. And that society doesn't like that because them know why we make an example of anybody. No, because they're our friends. No, it's not, it's not, it's not a, um, you will find, you know, there's a, there's a cabal, you know, it's not like say, you know, that man is a predator and he stands by himself over there. So. Right, right. You will probably find they're in the lodges together, they're in the masons together, they're in whatever secret societies or polite societies together so they all know each other they may even be showing, sharing each other with the videos and pictures that they took they've taken of the little boys or the, whatever their conquests are right so this is the realities right. of what goes on in in, in 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 upper society in jamaica so that's why a guy like me you know who who's outside of the the realm but would be considered to be in that upper echelon society because you know i have a phd and blah 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 and i have a couple of dollars in my pockets so one would think that I would fit naturally in this group. But me that me care, me care, me care, me care. I I can't I can't see certain things that go on and, and co sign it. Never. It can't it will never happen. So I'm a threat to them. Well, They're like stay on the Jamaica Dr. Williamson them, or Dr. Z them call me. They say stay on the Jamaica. So so they'd rather exile me to anywhere else in the world. <laughs> well brother, welcome Jamaica. welcome welcome to the world of the exiles. <laughs> Is the best thing. Well, you live in Jamaica. You live in Jamaica, right? I I back and forth, but you know, so most of my time I spend here still. Okay. But now me I think, now me I think for pack up and move. Because well, I just think, I just think the people them 
I think most Jamaicans are damaged goods. I have a huge situation. I have, I have British and American um, uh, residences, so I, I can live wherever I want to live. But, um, you know, as a retired person, my, I want to spend the rest of my time trying to change the world. And I'm sure that's a reason for my doctors to say I, I'm, I'm I don't crazy. Think, I, don't, I, I don't think that that's possible, and I think we're stupid to think that it's possible. May I, may I live in a, may I live in a, in a, in a, in a stupid mind you know <laughs> so maybe we maybe we'll really have some bipolar disorder go on because we seem to think that we seem no. to think that we, we have a shot we think we have a shot at changing this world brother but but listen to what i'm saying that is exactly the kind of things that the, my doctors will say that they're, that they're in god man <laughs> however what's the harm in trying i've done so many things in my life for example 1976 born in trench town jamaica a male like me should die around 30, average life expectancy. I am 45. Right. So I've been the yeah. odds in so many ways, right? Second thing is this. I went from Trenchtown to Kingston College, the greatest education institution for secondary, um, at the secondary level in the world. I was first. Right. I went from KC to Cambridge University, number one university in the world. Then I went from Cambridge to Yale, Yale to NYU, NYU to Johns Hopkins. That's an impossible journey, Mr. Vegas. Right? You became one of the biggest stars in the world from wherever you come from in, in reggae music. People will think that's an impossible journey. However, I've done it. So, I mean... So you said the impossible, the impossible, the, the, so you said the impossible is possible. <laughs> now what seems, to be, what seems to be impossible is possible. Them teachers that I can't see since I was 10 years old, them say, Fortis, cadere, sedere, non potest. It's a Latin phrase that means the brave may fall but never yield. So even if it take me 10 more years of my life to try to change Trenchtown into a, a more of a beaming city or shining example of what urban renewal can be like, I'll do it. I have a couple of dollars my in my friend, pockets my, and my there's nothing to do with it brother, but that. I have a brother named Chris. Mm -hmm. Him tell me say him, him because I'm listening to you speaking like me and I may have sound like him to you. Right? In terms of said, this generation would have to pass. And it's more like the younger generation, like the youth, them, like the babies, them now. If any change is going to make, it's going to be made. It's like, it's like the babies, them now. If, if, if people can get to send them to proper school, and like, them get better education. That's and now absolutely we have correct, correct Mr. Like Your brother is so, absolutely correct. That's why I started education. I have right. a school in Jamaica, and I have about nine schools around in six countries around the world, about 4,200 students in all. We've helped about 12,000 students overall over the past 15 years or so. Um, right. Probably raised about a million dollars for those schools, right? U.S. dollars now. Um, and what I've done is I said, I'm going to take what Mr. Vegas' brother just said and say that, we can't save the generation above us because they are the ones that set the trend. Right. So if we can start, if we can start educating the younger generation, like the kids Correct. them now, the babies they, them they, now. They're now in the, my school Those, in Trenchtown is called the National Baptist Basic School, ages three to six years old. Yeah, I appreciate that because these the, the people that they try to reach them big old tough people are right now, brother. No, trust me. But by the way, if you know the flow, Mr. Vegas. If you notice, a lot of the politicians that are coming in now are different than the ones that, like, you know, the old guard who, yep, you know, the Omar yep, Davis yep, and them kind yep. of one that was in the generation yeah, before the Porsche Simpson Millers. If you look at the new ones that are coming in, they are more people-centric, and many of them are more of what we line, what we're thinking in terms of values, right? So there is hope. I'm not saying quick, 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 quick before, quick yeah. before you. Now no, I have it. If, there's two things I want to speak to you, on, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take you up with it. The um one um and, and another time. The duels because you mentioned Celestia and I have a strong um you know um take when it comes down to Celestia's um governance. But mm -hmm. but what do you think about? Um, based on what you just said about all oh, the new sort of politician, you know, more, um, it's not like the, 
the outliers them like 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 what we used to have. So so what I think about like what happened with Barbados and them getting them quote unquote um freedom from the Queen. What I think oh about goodness. Jamaica. Mia Motley represents the kind of politician we should have in the world. Mia Motley is what Andrew Holness could have become when he won the landslide victory in, in right. um, September of last because year. Because he can make changes now. Because he could have made any changes he wants. He could have gotten rid of all of the corrupt um, politicians within his party. And because he had the kind of flexibility in terms of number of votes to do that, right. Right. He, could, right. he could, by the stroke of a pen, and I'm sure he'll get full support from the People's National Party. I know Mark Golding. He's, a, he's my MP in Trenchtown. Um, uh, he's the leader of the opposition. He would, he would, he would co-sign it. In fact, I believe they, he's come up public in support of, of independence for Jamaica. But so, sorry to cut you, but do you realize that Andrew Wallace has no excuse not to fix crime and violence in Jamaica? No, do you understand? Not to fix what? Right? Not to fix crime and violence. And some of the I things agree. that in Jamaica. In fact, that, because, the because Andrew Wallace has the vote. You know? Correct. So he can he can implement. That's why I'm doing um, on rock. things. Right. So 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 I'm really really looking at. I, I, I'm still optimistic, but Andrew Wallace must realize that there are people out here who understand that he can make a lot of changes when it comes down to a lot of By things way, in Jamaica. Even even steeper penalties for he's, like he's predators. He's still very popular sex, in Jamaica. Sex. Huh? Right. He, right, so continue what, you were, continue what you were saying, because I, I just about it. Yeah. No, no. As, as I assess the politics in Jamaica, right, and I'm a guy who's a strategic guy, right, so I do strategy, I, I do um, growth strategies and those things for companies, right? That's what I do as a professional. Um, right. You know, I'm a psychologist, so I, I, I'm able to really evaluate leadership and, and put them in the right places so they can you know, deliver on the strategies for growth within the company. Um, mostly on the investment side, I, I, I help them to raise capital. We've done a couple of dollars. I mean, maybe a hundred right. million, maybe a billion dollars in deals over the years, right? But in terms of the politics in Jamaica, Andrew Holness is a very popular leader. So I don't think he's at risk of losing the election if, if Mark Golding is his opposition. Because... Mm -hmm. I don't think people perceive Mr. Golding as a potential Prime Minister of Jamaica at this time, right? He's coming into his voice a little bit and he's doing all his tours around and People's National Party's policies are still more popular you know, among the people because they're populist policies. But Andrew Holness is shepherding a kind of you know, economic um, sort of growth within Jamaica, but it's largely focused on the private sector, the business um, entity, and the, and the top 2% or 3%, right? Fact. So the, Fact. the growths are in, in the areas of hotels and tourism and those things that are not really showing up in the pocketbook of regular Jamaicans like me who come out of trench. Like, like, right, right, because a lot of so infrastructure... Regular people, they're not seeing the prosperity. Right. Yeah, so they're not seeing the prosperity that, you, you know, that, that is being talked about um, in, in their, in their um, social media and marketing um, approach, public relations approach. However, because the opposition is not strong, he continues to be popular. I think he's polling at above 60% right now. Now, you know that to win an election, you only need 50%. So if he's got all that gap to, 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 to um, you know, ahead of yeah, yeah. Mr. Golding yeah. and the PNP, he's, he's, he's going to win the next election, that's for sure. Yeah, man. No doubt about it's it. Up, it's an uphill battle for the, the PMP. The PMP is not going to get back in power anytime soon. Not unless they change their leadership and change, you know. Right, because really Mark Wallen is not is not as charismatic as 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 our Lisa and our our Damian Crawford. Exactly. If if the PMP went with a Lisa Hannah or Damian Crawford, and Damian Crawford is a forties, so I have a little bias in this, right? He's a KC old boy, so I have a little bias. However. Just in terms of his ability to stand, you know, side by side with, with Mr. Golding on a, on a debate stage, for example, right. Mr. Holness on a debate stage, Mr. Mr. Holness, Mr. Holness, yeah. If right. Crawford and Holness were on the stage, it would be a 
Definitely. For Definitely. example, if you, if you remember the last election when, when Mr. Golding was debating Dr. Nigel Clark um, in the finance debate, right? Clark 